So AutoVista can be controlled with either Connect or a controller. I'm going to do it with a controller, obviously. It makes for an easier demo in this kind of situation. It works roughly how you'd expect in that you can lean right or lean left and move around the car. You can move back and see the car from all angles. You can even move up close or crouch down towards the sensor and really move in and see the details. Now, this was really important to us to get people to desire, want to touch the car, want to stand up. I mean, it sounds kind of car pornographic, but honestly, that's kind of how we see cars, is these amazing works of art, amazing technology. But to get to this level of detail meant rethinking how we actually deliver content. Now, if you think of most games, they're epic experiences. You know, New York is on fire, missiles coming in from the sky, and you take it in from a distance. But then the moment you go into an alley and you get right up to the wall, you get pixelation and the normal mapping. And AutoVista is exactly the opposite. We're trying to be introspective, get you really up close to that car. We also wanted the cars to be highly interactive. So you can literally reach out with your hand, grab the handle, and lift the door up. And the cars we selected for Auto Vista mode were selected because they have incredible history, or they show great technology, or they're just highly interactive in general. Now, this car's got some cool stuff going on. You can move around, take a closer look at the car, change the color. But what's even better is being able to get up close, lean in, and really check out the details. Now, to provide this level of detail, we had to think of new ways of delivering shaders like carbon fiber and that kind of orange peel stipple that's on top of the, uh, the valve cover there. We also wanted people to get more detail about the car. So as you move around the cars, you can select more detail that is sometimes anecdotal or sometimes more technical. The 6.3 liter naturally aspirated V8 engine produces 571 horsepower. This helps the car reach 0 to 60 in 3.6 seconds and achieves a top speed of 197 miles per hour. Now while that one's pretty technical, you can also move around the car and find other points of interest. In order to provide more editorial content, we got into a creative partnership with Top Gear. And so on each one of the Auto Vista cars, there's a Top Gear tour as well. This is not just the greatest car Mercedes makes. Right now, I think it's the greatest car in the world. It's more powerful than a Ferrari 458, just, it's a little bit louder than a Lamborghini, and it's way more fun than the 911 RS GT Turbo 3S, or whatever this week's Ultimate Beetle is called. Now, Jeremy has opinions on all cars, and this is something we didn't want to edit. We really wanted Jeremy to be able to be himself, and Top Gear to be the editorial staff they are. So they tell it like they see it, and that allows us to be the play-by-play. -play. They're the color commentary. We can tell you more of the facts about the car. Now, each one of the cars we selected was very, very rare. So we actually have one car where there's only one of them in the world, and it's actually in Jay Leno's garage. Now, cars like that, most people will never see in their entire life. In fact, this is one of the least rare cars in this experience. So this is a car that, uh, you know, if you don't live in a metropolitan area like New York or London or Munich or something like that, you're never going to see a car like this. And even when you do, you're very rarely going to be allowed to open up the door, walk up and just get right in. And of course, as soon as you get in a car, what you really want to do is look around, see the stitching and the carbon fiber, and then you can reach your hand out and start the car up. So really we think of these cars as levels in a platformer game, where around every corner there's cool information, there's cool details, something new to explore, and for you to really admire and get into the work of art. So while you know, cars are often thought about just for racing, this is really treating them as something to uh, you know, stoke your car passion. 